Hello guys, my name is Jason the Mutt, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers Generations Voyager class, I can't remember, Whirl. Now, Whirl is actually based off of the G1 toy instead of the comics, which I don't really read. I just like the cartoons. And uh, he's a helicopter. The original world toy was by Bandai, and apparently Hasbro took the mold and produced it as Autobot World. Now, you might notice that there's no stickers on this thing. I forgot to put it on. Or, there were no stickers in the box because I never bothered to put them on. So that's why you see no Autobot symbols. No little red stripe on the helicopter blade. Yeah. But you do get that old Bandai produced look. Uh, ah, found it. World comes with a plethora of, this, of accessories that have different ways to combine. First off is this little minigun. It's got clips. Around it, so does this little missile launcher. This little hand thing that will come in handy later. And this. I don't know what this could be. It, cannon? I don't know. But yeah. I, what I'm trying to say is, World come, comes with a lot of accessories, but not as many as. Roadbuster, and you can mount them on different ways. You can mount the minigun on here. You can mount the rocket launcher here, here, or here, 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 here. On. Ah, oh, screw it. You can plug all the weapons basically anywhere. Let's get on to the transformation. So to transform Merle into his first mode, what we're first going to do is that we're going to untab this tail, bring out these side sections, and that just again. Then we're going to then we're going to detach these rotors like this and bring them together. Actually, no, keep them out. Bring the legs down, swivel them. Bend backward, then forward. Then you're gonna push this in, and you're gonna slide this down and clip that into place. Do the same thing with the other leg. Clip it in place. Don't forget to pull this back. Then now, what are you gonna do? Is that you're gonna push this back? And what you want? What you're going to want to do is that you're going to make sure these these little blue gaps are facing up uh, towards the booster. I mean, and you're going to push them in like that. And we're almost done. Fold this in. Situate the. Sorry about that little interruption. Anyways. You're going to rotate these parts forward, and then you're going to dig your fingernails in there, and you're going to bring this out, which will automatically bring out these little claws. And there you have Whirl in his official Gerwalk mode. It's actually called the Hello Pen mode, but I like to call it the Gerwalk mode. I think this is a stupid mode. This is not a mode. This is halfway through World's Transformation. They made a sliding joint just for this mode. But what you can do is that you can put the little guns on. You can put the gun you can put that gun right there. And you can clip this onto his arm, but I'm gonna slide this onto his arm once we get into the actual robot mode. Instead of this excuse. Let's get on to the robot mode. The transform world into his ro proper robot mode. We're going to slide this forward. Bring this up. And I need to raise. 
camera. Do not fall. Do not fall. Do not fall. I'm gonna bring this down. You're gonna take these rotors and you're gonna pull them back like that. Then you're gonna untap this part, push them apart. You're gonna take this and you're gonna angle these so that way you can get this tail fin into place. Oh boy, it's not going good. Uh, anyways, rotate this down. And extend the neck. And you're done. Here's Whirl in robot mode. This is a good looking robot mode. I really like the little chicken legs, but if you don't, you just collapse them in like that. Or... For a little better solution, you could turn around and he has these little, I don't know what do you call these little feet, but I prefer to keep him this way. And he's actually pretty good looking. I was really happy when I got this figure from my papa. He has all sorts of joints. Oh, and I forgot to mention this cockpit can even open, but I don't think you can put anything inside, which is a little dis uh, disappointing, but sort of g ish Anyways, the weapons, they can go everywhere on this robot mode. Next, let's see. We can put this little cannon on this little thing right here, and where... The world comes with many guns, as I previously said, and they could be actually used on this robot mode. So I already put the little that little cannon there, this little missile rack can be plugged onto here, and so let's retract that claw a bit. Put that, let's slide that onto there. It can go on either ways. This is just my preferred way. And finally, for the gun, let's put that under here. And there you have Whirl all weaponized. I think it looks stupid. I just leave almost. All the weapons off, except for this little cannon right here. Let's talk about his head. Very nicely sculpted. It's on a ball joint and a hinge joint, so he can look much down. And you can even position this. This is a pretty cool feature I gotta show you. So you know how he has a light pipe, then, right? Well, you could kind of turn that off by pushing this forward. I don't know why that's a feature. It just is there. Now, for articulation, as I previously mentioned, he his head is on a ball joint and a hinge joint, so he can look down that far and he can look up that far. Shoulders are on a hinge joint and they swivel. They're also, they can also shift a little. You got a double jointed elbow. You got a swivel at the elbow. The claw can open. The leg is on a hinge joint and they swivel. Thigh swivel. You have a knee bend here. And if you're strong enough, a knee bend there. It's a very tight ratchet joint. Oh god, I don't think I can get that back into place now. <clears throat> oh, there we go. And that is pretty much it for World's Articulation. Let's get into the size comparisons. Crap. 
So with size comparisons for rural, here we have a little piggy bank of me that I made in art class. I think it looks pretty adorable. What do you think? Oh, crap. Here we have Studio Series Bumblebee. And finally, we have a ruler. He's about seven inches tall. And that is my review for Generations Rural. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video, and I would also like to thank my granddad for giving me this all those years ago.